Welcome to the Journal Finder tutorial video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the Journal Finder. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to get into library stuff. So uh, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can go through your My Clark. So once you get into your My Clark, you're going to scroll down until you get to the card that says Academic Resources, and you're going to click on Library. Um, you also can type in library.clark dot edu and it will take you to the same place okay so this is the library's main um, page and the journal finder is one of the main buttons that exists on this page so under explore library resources you're going to click on the last option in those that top row of buttons titled the journal finder okay so the journal finder is essentially a great way to kind of find out what things uh, what journals that the library has so when this is really helpful is when you are searching for things so if in the case that you are perhaps searching in like Google Scholar this can be really helpful so we can kind of start there so if we are in Google Scholar and let's say that we are researching um, climate change. Okay, so uh, taking a look at our results, if we were to find something that is not a book, we'll actually do a little narrowing too. So we're going to pick a different year here. So let's say that, here we go. So let's say that we are interested in this article here. So role of renewable energy investment in tackling climate change concerns, environmental policies. So essentially what we would do to then determine where this journal article is. Um, well, if it is in, if we have access to it. What we're going to do is we're going to take the name of the journal. We can kind of see from this it is Sustainable Development. It's really helpful if you keep up the tab that you're going to be working off of too, especially if we have to go back and forth. So we're going to go back to the journal finder and we're going to plug it in. I will kind of just mention though that so one of the things you could do too is you can come into the journal finder and you could just like browse the publications by name or even browse subjects like those are other options in here too but those could potentially just like take longer because you're having to either like sift through an alphabetical list like in the browse publications by name or browsing subjects where you're going to be looking at a subject list that you might have to search for so we're just going to type in well okay so then what we're doing is we're kind of just like matching them up so we can see that there's a journal of science and sustainable development environment there's lots of different ones groundwater horizons there's only one page so in this case we're not seeing it and that's okay what that would probably end up meaning is if we were interested in that particular article it would probably be one that we would need to request through interlibrary loan but if in the case that we were, because essentially what happens is that, you know, going through Google Scholar, one of the things that you're going to run into as you're searching is that you may not always be able to tell, you know, right away whether or not you would be able to get access to the articles. So if looking at this one, you would then, you know, click on PDF and it's going to give you um, what we refer to as the paywall. So it's going to say, you know, purchase instant access um, or ask you to log in or use like an institutional login. And if it's one that we just don't have, um, then it kind of blocks you from it. I say in some cases as you're like looking and stuff, if you were using Google Scholar, you might find that there are still links that are kind of here so you may still see things where articles may pop up and say Clark University Library and then you can follow some of those links and see kind of where that takes you and hopefully that gets you to a place where you can find that article. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like from the kind of Google Scholar side but essentially the journal finder is really going to be helpful for not only like helping you figure out whether or not we have you know the particular journal that has the specific article that you're after what we're also kind of like looking for is sometimes when it is really that specific so um, for certain 
projects in research, um, if you were to have like a bibliography or even like a list of citations, so let's say, and we'll kind of do this as an example, so I'm going to go to databases and I'm going to use um, here. Okay, so if we were in the database CINAHL and we were looking for a an article on like nursing um, interventions, we did the search. Here we go. And then um, let's say we'll use one of these that says request through interlibrary loan kind of as an example. So let's say that we were looking at this effect of comprehensive nursing intervention on the formation of pressure sores in patients undergoing orthopedic surgery in prone position. So yet again, we're going to take the name of the journal. So International Wound Journal. Okay, so in this case, it didn't find anything. So yet again, that would be one that we would do through interlibrary loan. We're going to pull one that is just to be something. So yeah, here we'll use Journal of School Nursing. Journal of School Nursing. Okay, so um, we'll click on it just so that we can see more of the details. So essentially in this, so this journal is in um, our library. Um, we have access to it. So that's kind of the first thing. Um, the next thing is, is it full text access? So like, would we be able to get a full text article from this? So what we would need to do is we need to scroll down to where it says full text access and it's going to list out databases that have um, this journal inside of it. So this is saying that CINAHL, which is a nursing database, has this journal inside of it. And then the next thing that we're looking at is the publication date. So we would go back to the specific article. And in this case, it was this one here, Targeted Education for School Staff. And it's April 2024. So we would look at that. And it looks like in CINAHL, we have from 2004. Um, to present. So we could click on that. Then what we would do is we're going to match it up. So we would go over here to the right side where it says all issues and articles and we would say 2024 and we would say April and we would scroll down until we saw the article and then we would access it from there because it has the PDF full text on it. So we would just click on the PDF full text link and we would get a PDF file. So a lot of it is just going to be kind of looking through and matching things um, up kind of using the journal finder. So you want to make sure that you do keep those tabs open um, that have the same information so that you can kind of go back and forth between the two um, in order to kind of do it properly um, and not miss anything. So the journal finder is really good for Essentially, if you know that you need to find a specific journal, perhaps like a specific issue or volume of a journal to see if the if a particular article is there, if you are trying to save yourself from having to put in an interlibrary loan, um, this can be a great option to use before you do that. Or, um, or even if you happen to be using Google Scholar and you want to check as well, um, this can be a great way to do that. And if you have any questions um, as you're doing this, as you're going through the journal finder, please reach out and let us know.